Good morning, everybody, and happy TGIF Day, um, June 24th, 2022. I got Princess Hannah Grace, our little brave girl this morning that was taking care of the pool last night, weren't you? You were taking care of business. Keep and make sure everybody was safe. Nobody get hurt in the dark, right? Such a good girl. I have a pop-up devotion that oops, came on my phone from uh, my first ever Jesus Always book that my bestie, Mike Negro gave to me as a gift for my birthday. Actually, when I got out of the nut house, he, he gave me this gift. Um, so I'm gonna, I went, it popped up, so I got to read it today. I thought it was important, especially when it started off with Hold My Hand. Hold My Hand and Trust goes with me talking about truth yesterday and last night, and even again this morning. So long as you are conscious of his presence with you, all is well. It is virtually impossible to stumble while walking in the light of him, with him. He designed you to enjoy him above all else. You find the deepest fulfillment of your heart in him alone. Fearful, anxious thoughts melt away in the light of his presence. When you turn away from him, you are vulnerable to the darkness that is always at work in the world. Don't be surprised by how easily you sin when you forget to cling to his hand. In the world, dependency is seen as immaturity. But in his kingdom, dependence on him is a prime measure of maturity. Like I keep saying, obedience to him is key right now. So do not fear, for I, he, I'm going to read the scriptures now. I'm not going to adjust the, the, the devotion. I'm going to read the scriptures the way they were in the Bible. So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not dismay, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous hand, right hand. Isaiah 41, verse 10. For you were out once darkness, but now you are light in the Lord. Walk as children of light. Ephesians 5, verses 8. Amen. Find rest, O my soul, in God alone. My hope comes from him. He alone is my rock and my salvation. He is my fortress. I will not be shaken. Psalm 62, verse 5 and 6. And that is so true and so goes with everything that I've been experiencing lately and what I'm trying to accomplish in the justice system, trying to make some headway there. And apparently people don't like the truth. Well, too dang bad. The truth needs to come forward. The truth needs to protect some people, including children. I'm tired of our children being subjected to parents and forced to live with parents that shouldn't be raising those children. I was one of them at four years old. My mother was granted full custody and she forbid us to ever see our father. So you know what? I'm going to help protect the children. I always have. I've always reported them when, when I, I saw fit, and um, I will not back down. And even now, my voice is getting stronger, and I'm so fearless. It's, it's, kind of a, it's kind of amusing when I send attorneys wake up calls about what family court is, no response. Yeah, let it eat at their conscience. And then when a, when, when, a, when a potential client walks in, let my email sit on his shoulder and start eating at him. Because it doesn't matter how much money you're paid. If you're a crooked attorney, you can't clear your conscience no matter how much money you collect, no matter how much you defend your client who's in the wrong and get them off. 
Your conscience will eat you alive, as well it should. Because under his rule, that's a no-no. You're supposed to be protecting the children. And by putting them with an abusive parent, do you think under his eyes that is? something that he's going to enjoy. <laughs> On the contrary, it's going to make him pissed off. Haven't you seen the wrath of God? It's all over the Bible. Don't think he doesn't get mad. I've seen it all over the world. Just look around. Justice is getting served. All over. Because those who don't want to live in the truth lace up their running shoes and run, 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 run. Well, you lace up those running shoes and run because you can't run from him. He sees everything you're doing, especially you attorneys that are hurting children and harming those par parents that love their children and keeping them from their biological family. Shame on you. For what you've done and all I can say is you better atone for what you've done and repent if if that's the one takeaway I can give you today is you definitely need to repent and then be obedient to him so stay tuned I've got more coming up love to all bunches and bunches bye